Yes, good morning to all. And today we are discussing the tool as part of the one day one, one day one tool that is called size space. Size space. Previously is called the name is called types dot AI, but now the name the change is called size space. And uh, my humble suggestion that kindly try to use it. There is a free version is there, paid version also there, and paid version is working well. Even it will be only seven hundred rupees only per month. Why I am telling this? Because it is not like only one function is working. Lot of function is that. That's the reason I use the term. The size space is like a to z in a powered research tool. A to z. In the case of research, we divide the entire research process into three: pre data analysis, data analysis, and post data analysis. Right? During the data analysis stage, we need to use the softwares only, right? SPSS or Jamai or Jasp. But we need to work for pre data analysis time as well as the post data analysis. Normally, pre data analysis we are much easy for the Review of later literature and finding the research purpose of this kind of process we have. In the case of the end of the uh, post data analysis, we are doing the report writing. For these two purpose, this tool is a wonderful tool. That's the reason I just introduced the tool. Name is called Size Space A to Z of A Power Research Tool. In what way is helping you? You can see this very user friendly interface, very much user friendly, and one tool having more functions. Now previously we are using the Grammarly and Quillbot to check the paraphrasing and uh, as well as the this one, right? What is this? Uh, plagiarism checker and all. But this tool having all the functions. Even if you want to check with this uh, uh, AI detector, AI plagiarism also, we need to use the Turnitin or some kind of zero GPT or um, GPT zero. Like this, plenty of softwares are available. But this tool having that feature also. Even is going to check the AI detector also, and use uh, your personal research assistant. So why I am telling this? It may be helping to all kind of writing, research writing, then summary of your uh, particularly you have ten articles. For example, exam like that, then a demo no Google notebook kella. The similar purpose also we can use this one. And uh, from niche to domains, multidisciplinary studios with ease, easy me. And another one, semantic search engines. This are the basic. See, I mean, purpose we are using it. So I am not be uh, give more time for this one. I am just move to the demonstrations. Similarly, these are the another features. Even we can highlight, annotate the things. For example, when you read this some article, we need to annotate. We need to go for a uh, some kind of uh, highlight you want to do. You can use the same software. Uh, it's not a, even the software base is there. Uh, web base also there. Suppose you want to download the software and install it, and you can use it. It's possible. Even you can see my laptop. I can download the software. <coughs> see. Size space. We can use it as a software also, or you can use it as a cloud also, as a web source also, web based also. These are the advantages. These are the basic features are available like chat with PDF, literature review tools, paper summarize. So these are the feature we are going to discuss one by one. Now I'm just moving to the the interface of size space. Go to the Google and just type size space. Dot AI. Now this is an uh, you are finding this Google search. This mode only size space, the A for academic research. It is purely meant for academic research, not for the other purpose. Even the Google Notebook alone, we can use it for the assignment also. But this purely meant for research. It is purely meant for. And good thing that this particular tool, no, it's connected with all the database. Even the Springer databases and a lot of databases already connected. Therefore, you will get the very appropriate uh, article which relate to the the uh, what is it? The keyword which you like to search. And when you click this, the size space, it leads the home page of size space. Uh, it's very simple user interface as I already mentioned this, and uh, I already highlighted this is called A to Z, the entire research process. Let you can keep this cursor on the left side. You can find all the features. It helping to chat with PDF. Same like yesterday we uploaded PDF. <coughs> we started to discuss. No, the same way we can upload a PDF file and we can go for a discussion. The second one, it is same like a consensus. There is a different tool with consensus. Elicit. The similar way, this tool we can use it for that purpose also. That is called literature review and A writer. Suppose you want to write a proposal or you want to know how to write a methodology, you are not much aware of. Just give the title. He started to write a research proposal also. And find topic. Suppose you have the keyword, but you cannot identify what kind of research topic I want to go for the research problems. You can give this; it will give this. And paraphraser. For the paraphraser, we use the quill bot. 
or in the case of Grammarly. But this tool is helping for that purpose also. And citation generator is one of my favorite feature also. Suppose you like to go with the API or MLA, Chitta command or any format, just you can give the sources, it automatically gives the citation format as well the bibliographic format. That's another advantage. Another advantage is called extract data. Suppose you have here data, you have three or four articles, just upload. From this, you can easily to take this data, right? What kind of data they use it and what is that outcome of this that particular article? Everything we can extract. And the other main feature, a detector. So it checking that how many percent of plagiarisms the particular article written by a is checking that one also. Even if you want to modify this A plagiarism, we have a humanizer also. There is a humanizer, but the humanizer, the options for the paid one. If you want to humanize A, the content of A, you want to convert it to humanize A, we need to go for a paid one. But it's checking this how much percentage of A director. And the another advantage is, suppose you have the PDF file, you want to convert a PDF file into PDF format, it is helping for it. So this much of features available in a single tool. And even the price option also, compared to the other tool is less. Why I am telling this is an Indian made. And uh, even the free options, we have a lot, all the features are free, but limited access. You can see this, literature, uh, literature review, chat, A action, paraphraser, even for A pledges detector, everything is free, but limited. There is an options called limited features they provided. But the same thing if you like to go, it is a paid options there. It is a monthly basis is there. Suppose you like to write an article within a month, you can try this one. Otherwise, go with the free one, right? Uh, in the case of amount, I saw somewhat less compared to the other tools because all other tools is going with uh, USD dollars. This is only the Indian base is coming. I'm just going to highlight in what way is helping us. I'm going to the literature review. I'm just briefing very fastly because we have only 10 more minutes remaining. Suppose I'm doing the research here. The good thing is that you can ask a standard way, high quality. Even all the threes are working, right? Even the deep review, but the deep review takes much time to find, give these re responses. I'm just going to the high quality. Uh, you can ask the research question, or you can ask the uh, research. I mean, you can just type as a research variable. It's up to you. Suppose I'm asking this question, um, this one, gamified learning. So I want to do the research in this area, or I want to do the systematic review, meta analysis with this. I'm just typing a research variable. Go with the enter. When you start at the enter, the good things here, it giving this best of five articles, it is an authentic article, is a good citation based article, it gives a summary also. This summary we can use it for the introduction of your article preparation. Now you see this, it's coming, yeah. Now you can see this, answer for top five papers based on the citations. Now you can see this, I'm just uh, showing this, everything is here, what format? It is an AP. Suppose I need IEEE. Very simple. Go to the here. Convert is a number format and apply. Now it's convert as a IEEE format. The format which you like to use it, you can just shift it and start to use it. I mean, it's convert. And uh, another main feature which I like here, for example, it is list out nearly 100 best articles. Everything is a good database. Now I'm just showing this. In what way this tool is better than other, and basically it lists out all the articles. We can get all kind of metadata, which here is published, whether it's PDF available, broadcast available, these are things we can find from there. On the right side, you are finding the column, right? What is the advantage of this? Suppose you want to write a systematic review, <coughs> gamified learning as part of the features, right? If you want to check the features, we must know the, uh, the results. When you click the results, there's a new column emerged. That new column is talking about this particular author, uh, this particular article results only. Instead of reading the entire article, I can get the gist of the findings. This more than enough to write my reviews. Normally what happened, when you want to write a systematic review, we need to download all the article, just we can read and then we start writing. But here, what I think you want, results you are getting. Suppose I want to know the methodology they're using in their end, that particular uh, person. Go to the methods used. I can get the new column. This article discussing about this methodology, this article discussing about this methodology, this article discussing, I mean, maybe a, a, it's emerging. You can see this very fastly, we can, at least we can get a, some basic information about this article. If it's more relevant, you can just download this and start to do explore. And similarly, if you go above, we have other features. 
Suppose you want to get this summary subtract. Normally we are getting the abstract in all the articles. But it is not an abstract, it is a summary subtract. When you click this, you are getting this the summary of the abstract. The entire article, the summarized. Suppose you want to know the uh, main findings or if you want to know the objectives which they use it for the research, just click the objectives, you are getting this objectives. In what way is limited in the sense, maximum you can create a 5 column only. You are getting only 5 columns. Suppose you want to go to the 6th column, better you can close one column and start to click the next column. For the free option I am telling this. Because the basically is giving only the 5 column based reports only. Suppose if you want to go with the 6th column, delete one, I mean remove one and then start a new one. Right? Hope you are getting this for the literature review. Through this we can easy to find, do the literature review. The good thing is that everything we can able to find from it. Suppose if you want to go more, just to click the more, you are getting more. And I can see this next one, A writer. The next option called A writer. Suppose you want to write a research report or research article or in the case of a proposal, click start writing. This also partially freely available for the free access. My intention to write this one, okay, um, introduction on gamification. Just enter. Now, who's writing? Even I am typing wrongly, it's automatically started to write, okay. Accept suggestions, okay. Once again, gamification futures. So when I enter the gamification futures, yeah. So accept the suggestions tab, okay. Now, what is comes? There is here features. What is down? References citation. And if you want to change, also you can change what kind of format you want. Right? It's supporting more than 2000 citation format. Okay. So, which format you want, you can start with. So, for example, this paragraph is okay. Next paragraph, I like to go with this one uh, Elements of Gamification. You can go with one, one line, go with enter. Now another game, elements uh, provided, okay what is my gamification elements and all. But crash check once whether that information is provided by perfect. Now the another paragraph. So everything can just start it because this is not that then you can remove it and you can start right by yours. Suppose you want to ask more about this, you can ask A and paraphrase, citation, even some kind of uh, what is the editing feature also there. So this is an option available where A, writer. Suppose you want, I am just doing this literature and doing the fair of pricing, you can see this. I am just going to the gamify learning, same. When you go to the gamify learning, it is provided the gamify learning. I am just showing this the plagiarism report, A plagiarism. Because it is basically it's written by A, but kindly crack check um, whether the information is provided by A is perfect. I am just copying this paragraph. I am checking with the A detector. I am pasting here A detector and reanalyze. How many percentage? 29. It reduces the percentage also because this particular software tool is not showing 100%, it is reducing it. And the other one, suppose you want to humanize, we have the option humanize also, but we need to go for a paid one, right? Suppose even I want to do the paraphraser to reduce it, go to the paraphraser, we have the paraphraser, the same paragraph I am pasting here and just do the paraphrasing. Paraphrasing we use the QLBot at Grammarly and different tools, the same I am using this. Now I am doing the paraphraser only. Yeah, I got the paraphrasing. Now I am just copying this. We can check this plagiarism now. A plagiarism. Because even the uh, this kind of paraphrase also basically is a plagiarism. I am just going to A detector. I am pasting here. And uh, reanalyze. How much percentage less? 20 percentage. 
Now we understand how we can be modify these percentage. And another options as already mentioned this citation generator. So I'm just doing the demo how to find this. Suppose I find one article, this is an article. I want to know what may be citation, what may be a uh, reference format. Just click it here. When you click it, default the down you are getting this that article source. The right side you are getting the references. I get this reference. You are getting right side citation also reference citation. Suppose you want to download, we can download as a word file or big text file. And after that you can import to the Zotero or Mendeley. Okay. So this way uh, we can use this tool. As I already mentioned, this this is a tool basically the doing the service of A to Z of visas. The entire, particularly the pre data analysis, post data analysis, we can use this. These are the features we already discussed. One is for chat with the PDF, literature we can able to do, paraphraser, even paper summary. We can upload the paper, you can also summary give the provide. A writer, as I already mentioned, how is writing the research article and paraphraser, citing generator, and A director, writing, even when you like to write a template like proposal purpose or in a methodology purpose, just specify the template, it may be working. And PDF to video tool. And one more thing. It helping for Chrome extension. I'm just showing this. If you come down, you are getting this Apple icon, right? From this, you can download it. The software. This is all the Chrome extension. When you install the Chrome extension, we can easily do the smart work through the Google. Instead of going with the directly to the size spaces, we can just connect with the Chrome extension. We can start to use this, right? So these are the functions. It is available, and most of the functions are freely available in limited basis. So even there is no need for a paid one also. You can use the free access. So with this, I stop my presentations.